It kind of stinks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I work. I'm a working man. So am I. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might get a headache. All right, without further ado, hello, welcome to our second episode of our Conspiracy Theories. This is Let's Teach Stuff by Integrator Incorporated. My name is Bilal, and I'm going to be the teacher today. I'm Logan. I'm Landon. I'm the student. And for the record, my socks don't smell that bad. Yeah, I think I might need a gas mask. Too. <laughs> Let's hop into the video. So. For a question of today's debate, do you guys think that aliens are real? Um, I'm gonna have to give that a solid yes, because there's a big chance that there is other intelligent life among this universe. Landon, what do you think? <laughs> do you think aliens are real? You know, I've never given up much thought, so I have very zero, close to zero evidence <laughs> to make a conclusion. It's not evidence we're talking about, it's opinion. Oh. I'm Just yes or no. I don't know, I'm not refrain from answering that at this time. Why? Why? Because, what will I go off of? Science? I don't keep up with that kind of science. Suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I asked about aliens is because today we're going to be talking about the Area 51 conspiracy. People tried to raid it back in... Yeah, I'm good. I'll get to that. But um, if you look carefully enough, that is a um, that's um, a bird's eye view of Area 51 from like very far up in the sky. And do you guys know what this is? Like that over there? Maybe a salt flat. What that is? You're close. It looks 3D. Wow. Um, that's the closest of Area 51 you're gonna ever see. How far are we up? I I don't know. This is like a pretty high up image, like from an airplane high. Uh, this is like what like a couple ten thousand feet off. I mean, I'm not an airplane pilot, so I wouldn't know. Like you that tree. Tree. I'm, also, I'm also not a bird, so... <laughs> Don't think birds fly that high low yet. They freeze to death. Do you think birds are government spies? That right here, that is called, that's a dried up lake, it's called Groom Lake. G-R-O-O-M Lake. Why is it all white? Because it's dried up. It's Same. once upon a time, like, oh. yeah, once upon a time it was a lake, but like, you know, dried up. Okay. Area 51 is in Nevada, so, I mean, no surprise. It's, you know, it's arid. Hmm. So let's hop into it by talking about a few quick facts about Area 51. It started operations in 1955. It is a highly restricted uh, facility. In, Wait, um, if, so, what made people grab interest in it? Yeah, I'll get to that in a second, okay? okay. I'm just going to talk about quick facts, okay? Sorry. Okay, so it is a very restricted and very secretive facility. In fact, the CIA first actually, you know, really, really acknowledged its existence in 2013. The CIA did? Yes. So who runs it? I'll get to that. And uh, Obama, like President Barack Obama, he was the first president to mention it publicly. Other than that, nobody mentioned Area 51. Um, also, it is guarded by surveillance and armed guards, and you can tell right here, I put, put it in the, as a background image, like, this is a very restricted area, no trespassing, like, they are, like, they guard it very, very well. And it is owned by the United States Air Force, so it's a U.S. Air Force facility. Uh, like I said, it's located in southern Nevada, about 85 miles north of Las Vegas, so it's in the middle of nowhere, and it's illegal to fly over Area 51. Well, that makes sense why there's so many conspiracies then. Yeah. How did they get the image? They just shot it down. <laughs> <laughs> but then how they were covered the image. Exactly. Conspiracy. Alright, so why was Area 51 built? It, the facility itself was built during the Cold War as a place to develop and test aircraft. This specifically, in this case, spot aircraft for espionage, spying. The biggest two uh, aircraft that were developed at Area 51 were the U-2 spy plane. That's this one right here. Did they run the, the V-2 bomber planes down there? I don't I think they did. But, and also another big one was the SR-71 Blackbird, the reconnaissance plane that was also developed there. And that's the rumor that what it's like, you know, Area 51 is being developed for now. The rumor is that it's still being developed to like, you know, develop more of the, these aircrafts. Really? Yeah. And for more what? things for espionage. For who? I don't know. Any but like, I mean, it's run by the U.S. So for the U.S. to like, you know, spy. The U-2 spy planes, 
That was the big one back in the Cold War. That was the one developed to spy on Soviet Russia and its satellite states. Hmm. And that's what our tax dollars will be going for. Yeah. Let's go into the conspiracy then. As we know, Area 51 is the topic of many conspiracies, specifically the ones about aliens. So one, like the most famous conspiracy is that in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico, and the remains of the aliens in the craft were brought to Area 51 for study. However, the U.S. government said that there were no aliens and that the crash was a weather balloon. And also, many believe that Area 51 keeps the bodies of aliens, as many have been called green men. Uh, that's the nickname for them. Pretty ridiculous if you ask me. That's how like you get the aliens that look like that. Also, many people have claimed to see UFOs flying over Area 51 as well. Of course. As a place for our UFOs to land, as it were. So, the origin of this conspiracy, which is, I think, a very, very important part of this. Overall, I suppose that the, um, the secrecy overall of Area 51 has fueled many of these conspiracy theories. I mean, what are they, why do they need such, like, you know, heavily, like, why are they keeping it so secret? Also, um, when people saw the U-2 spy plane, they say they had, they had no idea what they saw, so they thought it was a UFO. And for good reason, too, because the, U um, the U-2 spy plane, it was extremely top secret. In fact, I think it was President Eisenhower that um, sanctioned its development at Area 51. So nobody had seen about it, nobody even had heard of it. Mm. Because they didn't want it like falling into the hands of the Russians. Or I mean, the Soviets, excuse me. Um, also in 1989, a, um, a man named Robert Lazar, he claimed to have worked on alien technology inside of Area 51, which brought even more suspicion. Although the credibility of him is like questionable, no doubt, because he's a guy that claimed that he went to MIT and Caltech, but no records from those institutions prove that he went there. Is that him? Yeah, that's a picture of him right there. Also, the funny thing is that a documentary was made about him, about him and his theories called Bob Lazar, Area 51 and Flying Saucers. That's funny, his education was all sort of conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> His credibility is questionable, no doubt. And oftentimes he's been discredited for any of his theories, but people still believe him. Do you trust that face? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Getting on to it. Yeah, I really need a new computer, guys. Come on now. So, getting on with the Area 51 raid, or the raid, um, it happened on September 20th of 2019. It started from a Facebook group called Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us. It was intended to be a prank, but apparently, like, you know, people took it too literally, and they, like, you know, they gathered at Area 51. About 200 people, did, like, participated in the storming of the facility. Seven people were arrested. Also, there were music festivals that grew, like, you know, drew more than 1,500 people into the desert close to Area 51 in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And you can see if you look carefully, like, there are the people right there gathered at the fence. Nobody got inside and no aliens were found. So you think aliens are out there? Extremely unlikely that they do. This came from, like, you know, conspiracies that were built off of, like, you know, not knowing what people saw over the years. Mainly because they were working on, like, you know, secret projects there. All right, now we've gotten to the quiz portion of it, which is the last part. These should be fairly easy. Landon, if you know the answer, you hit the sofa's cushions. Hey, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Area 51. And uh, Logan, same thing, if you, if you know the answer, uh, just hit the arm chair. All right. All right, test it out. No, <laughs> don't think we can test it out. <laughs> Every time you hit the couch, it has 30 seconds left. <laughs> Question number one. What two planes were developed and tested at Area 51? Uh, what two what? Planes. Oh, planes? I uh, shoot. I know oh, the first one. one. It, was a, it wasn't the model number, it wasn't it? It was a U2. What's the second one? U7? Or UZ? It wasn't something with a U. Dude, yeah. I don't remember the <laughs> one is, man. Shoot. I thought it was like a SC1 or something. You guys give up? I yeah, give up. I'm giving up. It's called the SR71 Blackbird. Oh, there's no way I was remembering that many characters. You could have just said Blackbird. Well, you two, I made the connection with the band, the British band. Have a yeah. point, zero points. Second question. Describe the most famous UFO conspiracy connected to Area 51. 
the aliens were crashing in Mexico and they said it wasn't what they could have. What year is it and where was it? Oh, that's... <laughs> Those were These are not easy. The, the year and the place. Was it, uh, 46? You're off by one. 47? Yeah. Alright, cool. That's one part. What's the second part? Where was it? These are the things you don't pay attention to. <laughs> this is a New Mexico Catholic call. It's not. It's New uh, Santa Fe. Yeah, Santa Fe. It's the capital. But it's not that. No, it's not that. <laughs> you guys give up? Of course. Was it? it Roswell. Or Roswell. Or Roswell. Or Roswell. I was about to say, I'll give you a hint. It starts with an R and ends with Oswell. Uh, I would have gotten that then. What is the nickname given to the aliens believed to be inside? <laughs> Creepman. Yes. Man, no, I don't pay attention to you. <laughs> Maybe we should get a buzzer, that would be more funny. An actual buzzer? I think it's more funny if you just like the couch. You know? Yeah, like that sound. No, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Here's the bonus question. What is the original name for Area 51 when it first opened in 1955? <laughs> yeah, Shoot. Did you get the buzzer? No, I didn't. All right, good. my leg. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Was it even a base? Did it have anything to do with planes? Oh, it was a lake! <laughs> it was a lake. <laughs> lake! I did talk it's about this. Groom Lake is not the right answer. Oh. It's something you didn't talk about. Uh, Groom Lake was the area that is dried up, like, right next to Area 51, so... That's, like, that huge area that's, like, white. That's, like, that's a dried up lake bed. No idea. We're giving up. I'm, I'm signing off. Signing off? <laughs> <laughs> Landing any guesses? Nope. It was called Paradise Ridge. But the reason for that was because when people's, like, when the United States government first opened operations there in 1955, it was a way to, like, make things not seem so gloomy for the people that work there. It's in a hot, arid climate, so it's going to be, like, you know, pretty hard to work there. Land of one. Yeah. You should put that above your head. It's, like, the numbers. All right, that's the end of uh, my lesson for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys later. All right, and the next one.